first of all, Thursday night there was a uh, town hall meeting by Louise over the phone and she didn't have much nerve to show up in person. So she asked people to sign up. How many people signed up for that, that are here? I tried to get You tried to sign up? They didn't call me back. And they didn't call you back. Okay. One person, two person. Did you, were you able to get to the call? No, but my friend Roger, the guy over there, standing on the street, called, and they said, talk to your representative. You know, when he got to the point of talking to his representative, he said, you can leave a message. Is that talking to your representative? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either, if you have to leave a message. I left a message, too. But I've got a different story to tell you. Thursday afternoon, I called like you guys did, or some of you did anyway, and tried to get on the list. Louise Slaughter's office in Rochester said, Gee, Bill, uh, you're closed out. Uh, we've already signed up everybody that we can sign up for this meeting. Uh, we've got as many that will attend. But you can sign up for September 1st, which I did. I left my business telephone for them to call me back on September 1st for that meeting. That evening, about 7 o'clock, my phone rings. And who's on the phone by Louise Slaughter's people saying, would you like to join the town hall meeting? I thought that was a bit curious, but here's my opportunity. I can sit and listen to what was said at the town hall meeting. And I took the time to record it as well to make sure I know what I'm talking about. The reason why I got that call is my wife happens to be a registered Democrat. Okay? My supposition here is that I think Louise called every Democrat in Rochester to do a one-hour commercial about how great she is. Yeah. All the uh, questions, by the way, were simple questions. Will that cover my uh, kidney medicine? Will that cover this procedure? Will that cover the next thing? I found it very curious that those were the kind of questions, especially when uh, Spectre down in Pennsylvania got very, very articulate and specific questions about specifically HR 3200. And that got my, my curiosity a little bit further, and so I replayed the, the recording that I did. I found out that there were three or four people that started to challenge her on different issues, and they just got cut off, and magically they just disappeared. Okay? We've got a lady, unfortunately, that doesn't want to talk to us, doesn't believe our opinion is important, and is actually restricting our freedom of speech. And Louise, I want to know how many independents and how many Republicans you also called randomly to join the town hall meetings. I left that message at your office and I haven't gotten back from you, I have, you haven't gotten back to me yet. 